Orthodox Spirituality Sin and the Person's Spiritual Condition I see another law in my members, in my body, bringing me into captivity to the law of sin. Romans 7.23 What is sin? Sin is simply breaking the commandments, the commandments of the Lord. Every sin that is committed is committed against God because he put the law. Sin ruins ourselves, our internal selves. It adds fog to our minds so we cannot see clearly, we cannot really understand what is happening. With time, sin turns into a passion that starts controlling us. So sin overpowers us. Some sins against God. The first commandment says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind. This is Matthew 22, 37 and 38. So complaining instead of thanksgiving is a sin. Accusing God that he doesn't care is a sin. Not praying or not serving in church, breaking the relationship with God, or seeking other gods. So basically it's like someone is trying to fight with God instead of trying to have a good relationship with God. Some sins against others, and like we said previously, every sin is against God first. The second commandment says, love your neighbor as yourself, Matthew 22, verse 39. Breaking the love connection. How do we break a love connection with others? Through gossip, through judgment, through anger. We're getting angry at someone. That means we're breaking the love connection. Through envy, by seeking revenge instead of forgiving the other person by breaking trust. So in all of these ways, we are breaking the love connection with our neighbor. By judging spiritual father, by mocking people, through abuse, by doing harm, and definitely through war. What's the spiritual condition of a person? The spirit is born white and clean. It learns to think. It learns from the world, whatever the spirit is encountering in the world, whatever the parents are teaching the child. It learns what it seeks. So if we seek to be a car mechanic, we're going to learn that basically. If one asks for wisdom, one gets wisdom, like Solomon did. So the spirit can learn godliness or learn sin. And we have to decide, we have to be conscious of our decisions. The spiritual condition changes with deeds. So this is a clean spirit, let's say, course we don't know what the spirit looks like so I'm providing a set of white dots to say this is a clean spirit and the feeling is the person is calm is peaceful feels loved is loving provides love person is radiant joyful modest so all of these are related to a clean spirit on the inside. But when someone has sin, has committed sin, such as judgment, mocking, envy, abuse, or the other sins, then some of these white dots turn into black. And then it's like there's an internal darkness. This is the fog that we talked about. And the person feels anxious or bored or angry under a lot of stress or has a haughty spirit. 
So all of these are caused by sin. What about the mind? The mind feels confused, seldom remembers God. So now the person is living away from God, cannot understand spiritual work, and most of the people on the planet cannot understand spiritual work. It takes time to understand it. The person doesn't notice the effects of sin. So the person goes on committing sin and cannot feel the effects of sin. So because it is so dark on the inside, there's so much fog on the person's mind, then the person cannot notice the effects of sin. Then the person accepts excuses for sinning, like everybody does it, so I'm doing it as well. Or we should judge people based on what they do. And this is very common in society. So this is how sin multiplies. Because people are just sinning and sinning and they don't feel how that is affecting them. Sin becomes a habit, a passion, and the person forgets that it is sin. The world dwells in evil, the Apostle says. How do we return home? First we have to confess the rights of God. So we have to say, yes, God has the right to put commandments. God has the right to judge us. And we broke the law of the Lord. We need to submit repentance. By repentance, the fog and confusion disappear. We can and should pray seriously if we want to return home. We have to struggle against the passions, all the passions, judgment, anger, and the other ones. We have to struggle against them, get rid of them, and acquire virtues, contentment, forgiveness, and the other ones. Judgment is according to the condition. Now we're talking about the Lord's judgment. So at the end, on judgment day, the Lord is going to look at the condition of the soul. Because if you repent and you confess, all the previous sins have been forgiven. They are wiped. So now what remains is the current condition of the soul. I hope you find this video useful. God bless you.